Let's look at how to identify primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols, and then get some practice to make sure you can do that really well. So first off, an alcohol will have that OH group right here bonded to a carbon. That means we have an alcohol. And we can define where that alcohol is in the carbon chain as primary, secondary, or tertiary. So let's look at an example here. We find the OH group right here, and we can see this bond here, it's bonded to just one carbon atom. So there's one carbon atom bonded to it, one carbon directly attached. That's a primary alcohol. So this is a primary alcohol. Note these lines right here, they go to hydrogen atoms, so we really kind of ignore them. Let's try another. So take a look at this one. Is it a primary, secondary, or tertiary alcohol? We find the OH group here. It's attached to just one carbon. That means it's a primary alcohol. So pause and give this one a try. So we find the OH, that's what makes this an alcohol, and we see the alcohol is bonded to this carbon right here. This carbon right here has two bonds. It's two carbons directly attached to it. If there are two, that is a secondary alcohol. So for this example, we have a secondary alcohol. How about this one? Pause and try this one without the table. So we find the OH group, and here's the carbon that it's bonded to right here. So this carbon, it's only bonded directly to one other carbon. That makes it, you guessed it, a primary alcohol. How about this one? Here's the OH group. It's bonded to this carbon right here. And we can see this carbon right here, we have one, two, three carbons directly attached to the carbon that's attached to the OH group. That makes this a tertiary alcohol. This next one's a bit of a trick. This is methanol. So we find the OH group, and here's the carbon, but this carbon's only bonded to hydrogens. They're not written, but they're there. So methanol's a bit of an exception. We call this a primary alcohol, even though the carbon's not bonded to any other carbons, just the way we do it. Here's one that's written a little differently in a more skeletal format. The trick here, we have carbons at these junctures. So is this a primary, secondary, or tertiary alcohol? If we find the OH group, it's bonded to this carbon right here, which is bonded to one, two other carbons. That makes this a secondary alcohol. Last one. So when you have something like this, we know there's a carbon here, and then there would be carbons at the end as well. So identify this as primary, secondary, or tertiary. So here's the carbon that's bonded to the OH group, and we have one, two, and then three carbons attached directly to it. That's a tertiary alcohol. This is Dr. B looking at how to identify primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols. Thanks for watching.